In the heart of Afghanistan, six teenage girls measuring, testing, and building a robot. Here, only one in five girls makes it past middle school. But 16-year-old Rudaba Nori wants to set a different example. I want to show them that uh, nothing is impossible. This team is entering the first global challenge, an international competition to try to solve world problems, like designing robots to clean contaminated water. 158 nations, each with one team, just like the Olympics, coming here to address a common problem. After spending months building their robot, all six girls packed into a taxi, making the 500-mile trip to the U.S. Embassy in Kabul to apply for their visas. Each time, they were denied. Why a visa is granted or why a visa is denied is always something that is going to be kept confidential. Afghanistan is not one of the six mostly Muslim countries under the Trump administration's travel ban. Uh, we were so uh, hopeless because um, uh, we didn't uh, get the visa and we came to Kabul for two times. Their case sparking international attention and then a last-minute intervention by the president himself. The girls were granted a visa. Elated, they packed their bags to make the journey. At an airport just outside Washington, D.C., fans waited to greet them at midnight. They are colorful, they are strong, and they are not silent anymore. For Rudaba, a dream come true. Uh, I'm so happy I can say to you that uh, how much we are happy. Happy to make history. Morgan Radford, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.